Okay, I'm Peter Kazansky from University of Southampton of Electronic Research Center. And I came here to deliver my talk or speech about 5D optical memory, which will uh, last uh, forever. Uh, we have been working on this technology maybe for almost 15 years now. Uh, we started this work in collaboration uh, with our partners from University of uh, Kyoto when we discovered the basic, the basic phenomenon of how these nanostructures can be created in glass under irradiation with femtosecond laser. At the moment, there are two, two uh, applications of this, uh, of this technology. Is, uh, we can use these nanostructures, which are produced by light, uh, for making this uh, beam um, or polarization converters, which can convert Gaussian beam into radial azimuthal or vortex beam. And th th this, uh, ca these converters are now be are distributed by Edmund Optics, so they have some commercial success. But we also managed to find an, uh, another application of this technology for optical da data storage. And this is quite a unique one. And uh, I now, at this conference, I, I try to, uh, to talk about this work. About five years ago, we made some tests. Uh, we hit the sample up to 1,000 degrees. And we uh, d discovered by surprise that these structures, nanostructures, still stay. They don't de decay very quickly. And uh, very recently, almost now, one year ago, and we published this paper in Physical Review Letters, we made proper uh, heat accelerating agent uh, experiments. And uh, when we set, uh, heat the sample up to, again, 1,000 degrees, and uh, at high temperature, uh, decay happens uh, faster. And then we extrapolated this decay to room temperature. At room temperature, we obtained the lifetime of these structures about 10 to 20 uh, uh, million years. But to, mo to make it more more appreciable, maybe I can say that at, at temperature about 190 degrees centigrade temperature, 190 degrees, which is typical t the temperature of cooking, uh, the, the lifetime of this, uh, uh, our structures will be about lifetime of universe. Uh, these nanostructures were, uh, uh, were discovered uh, unexpectedly, or uh, it was a, such an example of serendipitous uh, discovery. We discovered them simply by accident. Uh, and then when, uh, about 15 years ago, and until now, it's still there is a mystery how these st uh, structures are formed. Uh, to create this structure, you, you need uh, to take femtosecond laser, which is uh, now quite common. Yes, even uh, there's a lot of talks at Photonic West here. And then focus tightly inside the glass. Uh, and then uh, when uh, you stop your radiation and look under it on microscope, you, you can observe these tiny nanostructures, yes? And, uh, uh, and microscopically, these nanostructures, uh, be uh, they behave like a uh, bifringent uh, crystal. So you cannot see nano, uh, features about 10, uh, 20, or 100 nanometers by eye. But uh, using uh, <coughs> polarization microscope, uh, you can uh, observe that these uh, structures, they produce bifringency. And th this is how uh, we can say that uh, the, the nanostructure is there. So th this feature is called form bifringency, which is described in the, bo in the book of optics. Because of very high intensity of light inside, uh, uh, in the focus of the beam, we create uh, plasma. We break bonds and create uh, uh, electron plasma. And then when this electron plasma relaxes uh, um, uh, uh, after radiation, it uh, it's produces these self-assembled structures. And, but the uh, exact mechanism is, uh, uh, I want to say, still is not clear. Uh, so th th there is obviously uh, a commercial interest. But uh, another interesting uh, part of the story that uh, uh, we claim, and it looks that we, 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 we demonstrated it in, in our experiment, that uh, these documents will survive, will, will survive human race. So it's, and this is very interesting to think about. And, but interesting also to think what will ha happen in million years time or, or, or in billion years time. But, and what is interesting, so maybe when everything on Earth will be, de no, for some reason, will be destroyed one way or another. But this, uh, this our <laughs> glasses, or how they are now called, that Superman me memory crystals, they will live. And, and they, will, they can, stay, can tell story about us for future gen generations.